parts of my body are shaking that probably shouldn't be shaking. So we're in Pub Street, but the music is so loud, it feels like Pub Street is in us. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're exploring Pub Street in Siem Reap to get our first taste of Khmer food at an authentic Cambodian hot pot restaurant that serves exotic meats like kangaroo, ostrich, crocodile, and many more. We hope you enjoy going on this adventure with us on another amazing day in Cambodia. and we're doing Cambodian barbecue for dinner tonight. We hear they have some exotic meats in here like kangaroo, ostrich, etc. So we're gonna try and see if we can order those. Actually, we're not sure if it's barbecue or hot pot. <laughs> it says barbecue, but you get a big hot pot. So I guess it's a hot pot. We don't know. We'll see when it gets here. It's still very exciting though. Very exciting. If it looks anything like it does in the freaking pictures, I'm super excited. This place is in Pub Street, hence the very loud music in the background. So I don't even know if you can hear us. Hopefully you can, but it's like pumping out there. It's like... And it's Monday. <laughs> it's very intense. It's more than one music. It's like music from three different clubs playing at the same time. It's like Vegas Strip here with the amount of blinking lights and laser lights and sideshows. It's pretty cool though. The restaurants are actually really nice. Cool place though. I really can't say that's not. So we got kangaroo, ostrich, crocodile, and then we got uh, chicken, pork, and beef. Just in case. And it's a Cambodian grill. So it's, I think it's like Korean barbecue, kind of. But Cambodian? They're out of steak. Super upset about it. But I'll find my own, it's fine. Hopefully it's enough food, I'm not really sure. And they give us veggies, noodles. And I think, I think that's it. I'm really not 100% sure what to expect. Now I'm really excited because we don't just get barbecue, we get soup as well and noodles and vegetables. And then we got suki sauce, tofu sauce, and then their house-made chili sauce. And the suki sauce like, tastes like a chimichurri. Either way, I'm excited now. I'm really excited now. I'm gonna dip my kangaroo in my sauce. chicken and then we're going to cook our ostrich. So we'll do chicken, ostrich, and then we'll do beef, kangaroo, and then we're going to do pork, crocodile. Let's eat. The broth is good. Step one, chicken. Yeah, it's chicken. Ostrich eggs, never ostrich meat. 
not gave me help. Bit tough. Nothing gonna help him. Next one, beef. This is one of those animals, they make milk. Mm. Beef's actually good. It's a good, I mean, it's a good quality beef. Definitely bovine. It's good though. Um, it's a thinly sliced piece of beef. Flavor is like beef. If you know what that is, you shouldn't be watching this. Next. Next stop, Kangaroo Town. It's actually really tender. Surprisingly tender. Very gamey though. Very yeah. like a wild, wild lamb meat, like wild goat. Very, very gamey, but it's very tender. I guess it was kind of what I was expecting. I didn't expect it to be tender, but flavor profile-wise, it's as I imagined. Super, super deep dark red. Not a lot of fat in it because it's a very muscular animal. But the flavor's good. I could smash a kangaroo burger. That would be delicious. It's good. I don't see many kangaroos around here though. I really hope that the camera can hear us because it's really loud. I cannot tell if you're hearing anything. <laughs> Bacon. Slime. Pork is really good. Very, very flavorful. Pork's really good. Ultra tender. Ultra, ultra, ultra tender. More tender than the beef. Very good. Pork is delicious. Fish. If you got a frog leg, you know what 
know what I'm talking about. The flavor's good though, it's actually very tender. Surprisingly tender. So the way, I think it's the way they thinly slice it, that makes them really, really nice and soft. It's good. Thumbs up. that we walk to get back to our Airbnb after we spend the night out and it's you know it's pretty empty there's like few motorcycles that pass by and it looks kind of scary you wouldn't think it but it's so safe here like everyone is so friendly super helpful you know you get asked if you need a tuk-tuk like every five seconds but it's not like the harassment type they just ask you, you say, no, thank you. They give you a smile and say, okay. But yeah, they're extremely friendly. We feel super safe here, even in the middle of the night in a dark alleyway like this. All the people here Especially down are our, so nice. Down our long dirt road. Right yeah, there. yeah, on our long dirt road, there's like a few little stores that are open at night and they just give you a smile and you know, like you just, you just feel safe. And you walk by a temple, like, Everywhere you go, you kind of walk by a temple, which is super cool. And everyone's so respectful. We totally understand why this is called the country of smiles, because literally everyone we pass by, they, they smile. They'll try to sell you something. If you say no, they smile. If you say yes, they smile bigger. They just, I don't know. It feels like they're very happy that tourists are here. Yes. It's not like those other touristy places where they just try to scam you or they try to charge you more or whatever like people here legit just want to share their beautiful temples with everyone like yeah, it's, it's, it's wonderful it's quite it's quite true so this is our dark alleyway with no lights that's a good flashlight that's a good flashlight he always has a flashlight but yeah it's super dark i have the camera out i'm not even scared that someone will take it or that i don't know something will happen it's just extremely safe and there's butterflies there's like 
I, I can't show it with a camera because it's too dark. But even walking in like an empty alleyway, there's butterflies everywhere. It's so beautiful. Everyone is so nice. I don't, I don't know how to impart that fully. But Cambodia has been so nice to us. The people here have been so lovely. So we're gonna have our last full day tomorrow. It's gonna be pretty exciting. We're gonna go on a cooking class. So watch out for that for next week's video. So we end up going to Easy Speaking on Pub Street. There's street vendors, street performers, fish spas. There's all kinds of sideshows. It's like um, the Vegas Strip just in Cambodia. Pretty, pretty cool place. The food is actually really good. It's a very popular area amongst locals and expats and tourists and stuff like that. It's one of the must sees and do's in Siem Reap just because it's super cool. There's lanterns hanging everywhere. There's lights, there's music, anything you want. It's very open, very open place. I just sneeze. Hold on. It's a cool place. I would totally go back. It was definitely an experience. Pub Street has a lot of cool options. It's very strange here though. There's a lot of like local food, Khmer. Food, Italian and Mexican. There's a lot of Mexican food and a lot of Italian food. Every menu, almost every menu, yeah. has local cuisine, Mexican and Italian. And some even have like Thai food on top of that. It's a really, really cool hodgepodge. All the food that we've had, cheap food and expensive food, the quality is still there. It seems like they take a lot of pride in their, their food preparation. They have uh, very high standards. So a super cool place. And tomorrow I'm actually cooking dinner this one. That should be fun. So we have a local who teaches cooking classes and we do a cooking class because, I mean, how many people got to say that they took cooking classes in Cambodia? <laughs> Tomorrow's gonna be this guy. And we don't know, we're just gonna go from there, find something cool to do, find something cool to eat. We'll find out tomorrow. Until then, adieu. So we were running out of clothes and we had our laundry done here for four dollars. Four dollars. And it was all it was all dry clean too. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> they even put it in plastic bags. Don't show them my underwear. Um, I just realized that's not mine. <laughs> Alright. I have barbecue. We got 